With every Memorial Day, it is important to take a moment to remember those who safeguard our freedoms. That's right. You know, today we honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Memorial Day events took place all across our area today. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant was in Sevier County as dozens there remembered our fallen heroes. Today we honor those who have served our country and paid the ultimate sacrifice. It's their family members who are out today remembering their loved ones. Gail Thomas participates in Memorial Day events every year for one specific reason. To honor my son, Sergeant Paul Thomason III, was killed in Iraq in 205, and to remember all of ours that gave their lives for our country. Sergeant Paul Thomason III was in the Tennessee Army National Guard. He was 37 when he was killed in the line of duty. Worst thing a mother can ever go through is losing their child. And the pain never really goes away. I just miss him every day. Thomas honored her son on Monday by laying the wreath for the fallen, representing all mothers who have lost a child in combat. Men and women who are willing to lay down their lives so that you and I can enjoy freedom here in the greatest country on earth. Paul Parrott, an Army veteran, and Harry McPeak, a Navy veteran, say they are here for the ones who couldn't be. We're both in the American Legion Honor Guard, where we do military funerals and programs such as this. We do over 100 funerals a year for veterans, besides programs like this. I personally have done over 1,400. Thomas remembers her son as a bright light and a loving father. Smart young man and funny. However, it's his service to our country she hopes others never take for granted. Don't ever forget our sons and daughters that fought so bravely so we could have this day to honor them. In Sevier County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side.